Madam Chair. Uh, Ranking Member Chabot. That close? Chabot. Chabot. It's, it's, We're going to get this right. It's Chabot like rabbit. Chabot. But yeah, that, <laughs> we'll get it's no big right. deal, really. <laughs> I'll just call you sir. That's easiest for me. <laughs> I'll call you sir, too. Okay. And members of the committee, it's uh, really, uh, thank you for this opportunity to appear before you today. Uh, the Corps of Engineers is committed, committed to using local small businesses in both our normal course of duty and also, uh, as in this case, what we're reviewing in times of disaster. In your June letter to us, you ask us to identify five small businesses that could be prime contractors. Uh, I'm happy to report today that we've awarded five contracts and we have seven more in procurement action for small businesses as the prime contractor in the area, local small businesses. I want to just talk just for a second about our ongoing and future work and one initiative that's, uh, I think, very important in this area. First of all, our repair and restoration uh, the appropriated funds for that right now is $5.8 billion, $5.8 billion. Our acquisition plan has 34% of that almost $2 billion going to prime small business contractors in both just small business, 8A, hub zone, and service disabled veteran owned small business. We anticipate about 150 contracts altogether. 101 of those are going to be set aside for small business. And just to report on where we are to date, 65 contracts have been awarded, 60 of them have gone to small businesses. Uh, just a sidelight, we've had two flood fights uh, in the recent past, one's in Oklahoma, the other's in Texas. Uh, we awarded three contracts in Oklahoma, both, all three of those to local small businesses, and in Texas, two contracts, both to local small businesses. The initiative I'd like to talk about is the Advanced Contracting Initiative, and this, is, of course, is the vehicle the Corps of Engineers use to be ready for a disaster so that our response can be immediate. We have proposals out there, and we receive them in June 23rd because we're recompeting our Advanced Contracting Initiative. Before, uh, all of our contractors were large businesses, 100%. So we're recompeting that, and the, the proposals have been received, and what we uh, are doing is establishing three multiple award task order contracts and two of those will be for hub zone and 8A. So of those three, two thirds of those. And what we'll do, we have a local office that'll, that is set up and when we have a disaster, they will determine on capacity where that award goes. But we think this will greatly facilitate the use of local small business. Also, we've increased our subcontracting goals for our large businesses. Uh, they'll be higher in all small business categories, 75% to small business. Finally, I'd like to say that uh, we've done a, a lot of engagement uh, down in the Katrina area and other areas where we've had uh, disasters in the past, industry forums, market surveys, and all kinds of conferences where small business interests are represented, of which many of them, either General Strzok or myself, uh, in the future will be a speaker. Again, I thank you for this opportunity to appear before the committee and I welcome your questions at the right time. Thank you.